Hi, my name is Carrie, and today I'd like to show you how the sample and gas module for the cryo station works. The sample and gas module is a powerful option for the cryo station, which allows cooling by gas conduction or solid thermal conduction. The sample and gas module is ideal for users who have difficult to mount samples, such as powders, or would like to manage the environment around their sample. The concept is fairly simple. Start with the basic cryo station. The major components of the sample and gas system are the radiation shield, the first stage link, the second stage link, the sample chamber, and the sample rod. Now I'm going to assemble the sample and gas. First, start with the standard housing. And now I'm going to place the upper housing on. The second stage link interfaces with the platform with thermal grease. And then the first link interfaces with the radiation here, also with thermal grease. The rod runs through the upper sample housing, and then the sample rod can be placed into the glass insert. You can now see the relationship between the inner chamber and the optical access windows. This is the sample rod. There are several baffles along the length, which are used to reduce convection as the unit cools. At the bottom, there's a copper plate where you can mount your sample. You can either mount your sample with VGE or with bolts. There's a thermometer and sample heater that run to the end of the sample rod to provide accurate measurement of your sample. At the top, there are 10 user connections available for users. Gently lower the sample rod down through the glass insert there's two O-rings for a radial seal, and then you tighten down the neural nut. The sample and gas module can be controlled with the user interface under the system tab, and then go to modules. Then simply select sample and gas module, and the panel that comes up can be used to control everything with the sample and gas. To cool down, first you'll pull vacuum and then purge the sample space with a small amount of helium. To introduce helium into the sample space, open the helium valve, then open the vacuum valve briefly. Now you can cool down. The cool down will take about three hours due to the thermal mass of the inner chamber. The gas environment can be controlled through this gas port. The pressure will range from about 5 to 100 torr. Once the sample is cold, you can exchange the sample by taking out the sample rod and placing a new sample on. To do this, first pull a vacuum and then apply heat to the sample. Once the sample is between 150 and 200 Kelvin, you can start flowing helium. This will reduce the mixing of air and helium as you pull the sample rod out. To pull the sample rod out, loosen the real nut and then take the sample rod from below the neural nut and gently pull out. Slowly remove the rod to reduce the mixing of the air and the helium. Once the sample rod is out, water will begin to condense on the rod. To keep the sample rod clean, you can insert the sample rod into a, a bag. Once you've mounted your new sample, you can insert the sample rod back into the chamber. To do this, first loosen the neural nut and create a gap between the top of the sample rod and the neural nut. This will prevent the bottom of the sample from going into the sample chamber before it's at thermal equilibrium. Gently lower the rod back into the sample housing. Tighten the neural nut and maintain that gap. Then pull a vacuum to between 5 and 50 millitor and wait until the sample temperature has reached between 20 and 30 Kelvin. Once the sample is at the correct temperature, you can loosen the neural nut and push the sample rod into the sample chamber. When your sample is cold, you have the option of manipulating the sample within the sample chamber with respect to the optical axis. To do so, you can loosen the neural nut and there's a black disc that has a cutout, and using the ticks on the outside of the glass insert, you can tell where your sample is. 
You'll also have the option of manipulating the sample vertically within the sample chamber by lifting up on the top of the sample rod and then tightening the neural nut. When you're done with your experiment, simply press warm up. The sample and gas module allows users to mount difficult samples to control the sample environment and to position the sample within the sample chamber. Please contact us at Montana Instruments if you have any further questions. Thanks for watching.